bite the hand that feeds. Has and Meg refuse to join Christmas in UK despite invited and Queen's scare. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have snubbed Queen Elizabeth by refusing an invitation to spend Christmas with her. This is going to be a difficult Christmas for Queen Elizabeth, not only because it will be her first without her husband of 73 years, but also because she has been suffering from health issues. Despite this, her grandson Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle will still not be joining the 95-year-old monarch for the holidays. Multiple royal sources told that while an invitation has been extended to Harry and Meghan to come spend Christmas with the Queen, they have declined it. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are understood to be planning to spend the festive period in the US with their two children Archie and Lilibet. Meghan, 40, and Harry, 37, did not return for a scaled-back celebration last Christmas mainly due to COVID restrictions. The reported absence of the couple for a second successive year comes as the Queen prepares to spend her first Christmas without Prince Philip. It also comes amid concerns over the health of the Queen after the monarch pulled out of a number of key events, including the Remembrance Sunday service last weekend. A source told the entertainment website Page Six, there's a lot that goes into the logistics and the planning of the family Christmas, so of course, staff know that Harry and Meghan are not coming. If they were, they would have communicated it to their family by now. But this is Her Majesty's first Christmas without her husband, so one would have hoped they would want to be with her. The royal family did not spend Christmas together at Sandringham last year due to coronavirus restrictions. The Queen remained in a lockdown bubble with the Duke of Edinburgh at Windsor Castle. Prince Philip passed away in April at the age of 99, just two months short of his 100th birthday. It is believed that Meghan and Harry don't want to spend Christmas with the Queen because of the headlines they would make for flying back to the UK from California. I think everyone understands there will be a frenzy when they both come back to the UK, but they need to rip the band aid off and get on with it the insider explained. The Queen typically spends Christmas at Sandringham, her country estate, with her family, who attend a church service with her. This comes after a difficult few weeks for the Queen, with fears growing for her health after she spent one night in the hospital last month for an unspecified medical issue. Last weekend, the monarch was disappointed to miss Remembrance Sunday due to a back sprain. It is believed that Meghan and Harry are planning to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Jubilee will celebrate her record-breaking 70 years on the British throne. However, another insider is hoping that they reconsider this plan. If that is the first time they are back in the country since Megxit, and they suck all the oxygen from the Queen, that will be just terrible, this source said. The Queen will undoubtedly be devastated that Meghan and Harry will not be spending Christmas with her, particularly since she has yet to meet their newborn daughter Lilibet. We hope and pray that whatever health issues the Queen is suffering from now are adjust to memory and do not ruin her Christmas. It is the first time in nearly a month that the Queen has been pictured carrying out an in-person engagement since she hosted a reception for the Global Investment Summit at Windsor on October 19. The Prince of Wales issued an update on the health of his mother this afternoon during his tour of Jordan. Prince Charles, 73, even had time to make light of the situation during a brief interview with Sky News. He said, she's all right, thank you very much. Once you get to 95, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. It's bad enough at 73.